that beer crack could only mean one thing. You found an excellent video to watch. Yeah, I know you've been searching around YouTube and you're like, you know, I'm bored today. I'm going to look up something weird. I'm going to click on something bizarre. And what's more bizarre than a grown man with a full beard drinking beer and while we'll opening up Yu Yu? That's what you're going to see on this video. And that's what you see on almost every video that I put on this here channel. Is beer and Yu-Gi-Oh and me rambling, getting drunker, and just struggling at the end of the video. <clears throat> My name is Lucky Lance, by the way. I am the Reg Take Leader, self-appointed leader of Team Last Best Hope. We have a few tops to our name. I think we got over a dozen now, maybe two dozen now. I don't know. Very small team of three men. I'm the oldest. And I got my buddies Wicked Will and Rad Ryan who aren't here, but sometimes you can see them in videos where you do team drinking competition. Those are some of my favorite moments in my life that involve Yu-Gi-Oh! And alcohol, I suppose. But anyways, glad you could be with me. I'm really excited to have you with me again. If you're a return viewer, if you're a first time viewer, well, sit back, relax, and uh, get ready for some nonsense, I guess. <sighs> Before I can get to the Yu-Gi-Oh packs, gotta give you a shout out to my sponsor. Give me $25 to keep the lights on, keep the camera rolling, keep the packs coming, and keep the beer flowing. I'm talking about my sponsor this week. It's been a sponsor for a little while now. It's Buzzing Buddies Hummingbird Nectar. That's right. What's your favorite bird? If you answered anything other than hummingbird, you answered wrong. It's springtime, folks, and spring means hummingbirds buzzing and humming by your head. Yeah, it's pretty magical. You set up your hummingbird feeder, and you sit back with a cold one, and you look back and watch these little birds buzz on up and drink on out of all that sweet, sweet nectar that you've provided them. What a bounty for the birds. They don't even have to work anymore. They don't have to find flowers. I mean, they got these guys like me putting food out for them, you know. Don't feed the birds when you feed them birds. So anyways, you may be asking yourself, what makes Buzzin' Buddies Hummingbird Nectar so special? Well, it was made by a chemist named Ben Ross, a self-made chemist. I don't think he has a degree, actually. First, I thought he did, but now talking to him, I don't think he, he just kind of mixes things together. And whatever he's mixed here, it is amazing. I used to only see two or three hummingbirds maximum at a time. Right now, folks, I've been using this product for a while. I've been using it for over a week. And I'm already up to 15 birds fighting for the hummingbird feeder. We got two of them, and they're just packed. I mean, they, they can't take any more hummingbirds. My neighbor down the dirt road, Jerry, he also has been using Buzzing Buddies Hummingbird Nectar. And he has been using it longer than me, and he says he's getting over 100 birds now. 100 birds! That's insane! That's how much they love this shit. But he did tell me, I was talking to Jerry about the joys and wonders of having so many hummingbird friends. And he did tell me that uh, these hummingbirds uh, he's getting now are getting a little out of control. Uh, he's, we're not sure if it's the nectar, but you know we've never seen as many birds before, so maybe these, they act this way. But he said he was outside and, and enjoying uh, enjoying the birds presence all hundred something of them and he said suddenly they all swarmed together and uh, killed a groundhog they killed a groundhog he said he watched them all just swarm this groundhog and they killed it I don't know if that's normal hummingbird behavior I'm not an expert I just like watching them I don't study them I don't go on the internet and watch like you know informational videos but last time I checked hummingbirds don't usually kill groundhogs But, I don't know, maybe they do. I, I Hell, I don't know. So, uh, anyways, get yourself some, it's a little alarming, but, you know, the groundhogs would be annoying. I don't really like groundhogs. They tear up your lawn, tear up your property. But anyways, folks, if you like hummingbirds and you just like to watch them and, and, and check them out, and you just like birds in general, get yourself some Buzzin' Buddies Hummingbird Nectar uh, provided to you and all of us by self-made chemist Ben Ross. 
Thank you, Ben. I really appreciate $25. really helps me out, and I think it helps everyone out now because everybody can enjoy the wonders and delightfulness of hummingbirds. All right, getting to Yu-Gi-Oh! now. Uh, time to get into the thing you guys want to check out. Check out. What do I got today? If you read the video, you know what's going on. I got a box of Spirit Warriors. Yeah, Spirit Warriors. Uh, it's been a while. I still don't know why it's called Spirit Warriors. There ain't no damn spirits in here. Um, you should have just thrown an Honest. Just be like, there's a Spirit Monster. There you go. <laughs> I would have never been able to bitch. I, well, I still would have. I still there's one spirit monster. No, Honest isn't even a spirit monster. It acts like a spirit monster, but it isn't one. Fuck me! Man, do I look stupid there. No, Honest is not a spirit monster, but it should be. Ha <laughs> ha! God damn it, no! What is a good spirit monster? I mean, Yadagarasu, but that's banned. I can't imagine them putting a banned card in. I hope they never errata Yadagarasu. I hate erratas. Just keep things on the ban list. But that's, I think the ban list should be for younger players that haven't been playing as much to look at the ban list and see where card design can go wrong. And Yadagrasu is obviously a card that uh, has, is not is not appropriate. Anyways, Spirit Warriors, Magical Musketeer, Secret Six Samurai, and Weather Painter. What do I want out of this? It's been a while since this set came out. This set was hot when it came out. People thought Magical Musketeer was going to be like the next like Insectors or even Zodiac, but obviously it didn't happen. I think I think Magical Musketeers are fine. They get they're getting a Link Monster in OCG or there. God, God knows when we're going to get it. And uh, what I'm looking for here is, of course, Magical Musketeer Caspar, Magical Musketeer uh, Starfire, and then Secret Six Samurai Fuma and Kazaru, I think his name is, and then Weather Painter Cloud. I think Cloud is actually the toughest card to pull. Maybe Casper is. But let's see what I can get. This shit was hype when it came out. I mean, people were excited at my locals to get some Magical Musketeers. For a good month, there was like four. There was like four Magical Musketeers. I had to play them all the time. I never lost to one. I can tell you that that counter trap they play from hand is pretty brutal. You don't even see it coming, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, shit. You know, counter trap my solemn strike. I didn't like that at all. So anyways, guys, I'm going to head over yonder. I'm going to rip the packaging off. I'm going to look for a cast bar. I'm going to look for a Kid Brave. I, I really like the Western theme they have with the Magical Musketeers. I just wish they were better. They're like weenie beatdown, you know, with card effects that are like, okay. I, I really like the deck. But anyways, how do you make a deck that's not very good or that good into a really good deck? <laughs> I think we all know what we gotta do. In order to make that happen, you gotta get drunk! Ah, let's get on in here. I'm excited for Spirit Warriors. Interestingly enough, they all have the boss monsters on here, which I don't remember the inner names. This guy... It's Desperado. No, I mean, that's a, that's a trap card. But they have their boss monsters on here, and nobody uses them. I think maybe the Six Samurai one gets used, but certainly no one uses the Magical Musketeer one. Do they use the Weather Painter one? I've only played against Weather Painters, like, fuck, maybe three times, and only once was it ever actually a real game, and that was actually at my locals. I had to play against them. I was like, Jesus Christ. Like, I was struggling. I got them. With old Thunder Dragons. With Thunder Dragons, like, brand new. All right, here we go. Let's see how if I can pull any of the short print secrets. Four supers and a secret per pack. Six Samurai United. There's Kid Brave. Secret skill to Six Samurai. This is a sick looking card, but doesn't do anything. All right, still rolling here. I hate how these super rare packs get all bendy. Like, I just don't understand. I have to bend them all back out. All right, thundery uh, canvas. What ones this one do? Oh, it banishes the monster and returns opponent's monster. That's the one that was struggling so bad with thunder dragons. I kept bouncing my colossus. Weather painters are pretty neat when you look at them. When you see all their effects and everything going off. Grand master of the six samurai. Expensive ass secret to strike a neos. Uh, uh, oh, there we go. There's a Kazaru right there. He's got his little Shien Scout or whatever it is with him. Secret Six Samurai Kazaru. When this card is special summon, you can add from your deck to your hand one Six Samurai monster with a different attribute for every monster you control. Exactly one Six Samurai monster you control and no other cards will be destroyed by a card effect. You can banish this card from your graveyard instead. Nice stats on him, too. 1900 attack. I always appreciate that. 
like a, a salt core A. I said this thing backwards. A assault core. That's got 1900 attack and only 200 defense. So this is even better. Like all the evil swarm monsters always had 50, 50 more attack. That always seemed to come up. Especially with Heliotrope. Alright, and we got Secret Six Samurai Doji. I like how this is the only samurai monster with a gun. It's the very end of the samurai era, 1870 something. And they have their last samurai battle in 1870. Magical Musketeer Steady Hands. Why is Battle Guard howling in here? Weather Painter Aurora. I don't even know if they use that one, Weather Painters. Aurora? I don't think so. Maybe I'm wrong. Trying to get him out. I saw the new TCG exclusive today. The gnome card seems pretty good. Uh, Lannery Six Samurai Xi'an. I didn't like this in this set as a secret rare. The new card should be secret. This has been reprinted a million times already. Doesn't need another secret print. It already had a secret print. Should have had uh, Old Kid Brave or something be a secret rare. The Six Shinobi. The Honest isn't here. Oh my god. And then Magical Musketeer Zekiel. Okay. That's his name. I couldn't remember his name at all. I like how the Magical Musketeers are all uh, fiend, too. That's pretty sick. Snowy Canvas. This one. Uh, I added any one other card from Deck to Hand, so. That's one you definitely use. Photon Veil. The Weather Painter Cloud. Not Cloud from Final Fantasy. I remember when they made Final Fantasy X when I was like 10. Like it was right around that time and I was like, oh my god, now are they on? They pretty much stopped making Final Fantasy so they're like up to only like 17. There's the, I think that's the first doc I've gotten and the first Calamity. Magical Musketeer Dancing Needle. Uh, you can banish three cards in the graveyard. I play tested Magical Musketeer a lot because people were so hyping it for a while. I mean, for like months, people were like, oh, this deck's gonna be so good. And then it came out, and it's okay. Like, you can definitely top a regional with it, but I don't think it's amazing. Weather Painter Aurora again. Backs to the wall. Magical Musketeer Cross Domination. This one's actually pretty good. Kind of like it. It's the one that uh, negates. Uh, what's it do? It changes the attack and defense, and also has its effects negate. I knew it effect negated its effects, but I forgot about that part where it attacked. It's like a widow anchor almost. Steady hands. Uh, oh, I skipped it. Kageki, six samurai Rihan. All right. On to the other side of the box. Only one short print secret so far. No Fuma yet. Need the Fuma. Uh, I like how they have both scrap irons in here. Another Shein. God, that sucks. It's like the worst secret to pull in my opinion because it's old. It's like the tin had a secret rare. They fucked up there. I don't think they've done that recently. There's Desperado. That's a cool looking artwork where she's got like how many things? It's just like a huge gauze can. It looks so sick. We got Secret Six Samurai Hatsumi. This is a good one, too. I don't think it's that short printed, though. They still have not reprinted Caspar or any of these cards, actually, that are new here. There's another Kid Brave. We got Weather Painter Sun. It's like Mario Brothers. It reminds me of Super Mario Sunshine. Whenever I look at this thing, I'm like, oh yeah, Super Mario Sunshine. I played that game when I was a kid. I was probably like 14 or something. Isle Delfino, wasn't that the place it was called? I love the noise of the the fat dudes when you spray them. Like, -hoo -hoo! It's like, yes. So satisfying to hear them scream. Magical Musketeer Mastermind Zachiel. Or Zachiel, I think it's Zachiel. Is that named after a person? I know most of them, like Doc is named after Doc Holiday. Kid Brave is Billy the Kid. Calamity is Calamity Jane. What's Casper? I don't even know. Why wasn't one called Erp? There should have been a Wyatt Erp one. 
Secret Six Samurai Fuma. There we go. There's another one. Here's Fuma. This guy was really popular with uh, Dragon. I mean, True Draco for a while there. This card is destroyed by battle or card effect. You can special summon one Six Samurai monster from your deck. Except Secret Six Samurai Fuma. Exactly one Six Samurai monster you control and no other cards would be destroyed by card effect. You can banish this card from your graveyard instead. Not bad. Yeah, they would pop that and then they would get, um, I think, the water one. Weather Panda Rain. Magical Musketeer Casper. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. This is the main guy for the archetype. During either player's turn, you can activate Magical Musketeer spell trap cards from your hand. If a spell or trap is activated in this card's column, you can add one Magical Musket card from your deck to your hand, but not a card with the same name as that activated card. You can only use the effect of Magical Musketeer once per turn. i got to play that Ties of the Brethren in this deck, man. I'm telling you. you got to do it. No battle phase for you, but you're going first, so who cares? Secret Six Samurai Doji. Isn't that what they call their places? A doji? Do Dojo, that's what it is. Like like Dan Hibiki had the Sakyo Dojo. Why are both Scrap Irons in here? Scrap Iron Scarecrow. But I, so many people play this wrong. They activate it, negate it, attack, flip it, and then activate it again. It's like, no, it has to, it was set again, dude. You can't activate it the same turn it was set unless there's like... Uh, a temple of the Kings or whatever on there. Magical Musketeer last. You know that's sick artwork right there. Oh man, what's this one? It's a uh, a wild right, like Wild Bill Hickok. So sick, a counter trap from hand. This archetype was promising. I'll tell you, it, it seemed like it was going in the right direction, and nothing happened. I'll have to look. I'll have to reread the Link Monster. See what, what's going on there. And we got Weather Painter Thundery Canvas. I think Cloud is the toughest card to pull. Maybe not. Maybe it was Caspar. I, I can't remember, but I, I, didn't, I got a lot of clouds, I guess. I don't know. And another Kazaru. Secret Six Samurai Kazaru again. When this card is Special Summoned. It has to be Special Summoned. You can add from your deck to your hand one Six Samurai monster with a different attribute for every monster you control. If exactly one Six Samurai monster you control and no other cards would be destroyed by card effect, you manage this card from your grave. People try to use that effect when they're destroyed by battle. I'm like, no, no, no. Your Shien is dead. It was attacked. Regeki has worked so good against the Six Samurai. Well, Shien, I guess, can negate it, but still. You bait them, and then you were Geki. Hand of the Six Samurai. This is a nice secret rare originally. And we got Dancing Needle. Not Dancing Queen, but Dancing Needle. All right, here we go. Last pack. Can I get a Starfire or a Cloud? All right? No, not Cloud. Snow. Jesus. All right, here we go. Keys on. Still their belt. Battleguard Howling! Oh, another Super Mario Bros. Sunshine. The Weather Painter's Sun. Not bad. I mean, get four. I mean, generally, you only got about three, so I'll take these four. Uh, really happy to get the Cast Bar. That's the card I always think of. I believe Kazaru is now actually the most expensive card by, like, a dollar. Maybe. I don't know. But I certainly always think of Cast Bar. Whenever someone says this set, Spirit Warriors, I think of Magical Musketeer and Cast Bar. Straight up. Like Paul Abdul. Straight up. Ugh. All right, guys. If you like what you saw, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more of this stuff, hit the subscribe button. And if you're really like, you're like, fuck, I got to see more of this, hit that bell icon. You know, for whom the bell tolls, and be notified instantaneously that I'm back at it again. Yeah, baby. Then I'm opening up more packs. I'm drinking more beer. I'm saying more stupid things. And I'm just... What am I doing here? And, you know, you can just enjoy the hell out of that. It's a unique club because I think there's only like 20 people who actually watch these, if I'm lucky. So, any comment, like, and view I get, it always tickles my heart. Even when I only say I got like 12, I'm like, damn, 12 people looked at this? <laughs> so, uh, I really appreciate everything you guys do for me, and I hope that I can just entertain you a little bit and make you feel a little bit better about your life. You're like, well, I'm not drunk all the time. But... You know, um, you know, you just gotta uh, 
make that money and get drunk, you know. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate everything you do. I really appreciate you viewing this, sticking around to the end. And I will certainly catch you guys in a couple of days.